chapter 10 adverb learning time adverbs are words that add some meaning to verbs adjectives or other adverbs and express how a thing is done when it is done or where it is done example one she walks slowly add something to the verb two sandesh is a very good boy add something to the adjective three you have solved the question quite correctly add something to the adverb kinds of adverbs adverb of manner express the way or the manner in which an action is done they answer the question how example one they played carelessly two the boy runs quickly three i did everything carefully four my sister reads clearly five he is approaching you slowly adverb of manner usually end in ly we form this adverb by adding ly to adjective slow slowly happy happily but some adverbs of manner do not end in ly one anand played well two they worked hard let me answer can we use adverbs in questions too adverbs of time tell us the time today yesterday tomorrow daily lately ago etc when someone does something or when someone action is performed they answer the question how example one I got up early in the morning. 2. Kamran comes her daily. 3. She has already paid the money. 4. Time gone by never returns. Some common adverbs of time are before, yesterday, never, formerly, today, daily, tomorrow, early, now, soon, late, already, ago. Adverbs of place tell us where things happen or where an action is performed the answer the question where example one come here two my brother is out three walk forward four he looked down the most common adverb of place are given here up down out near upstairs away outdoors inside outside now here somewhere backward here there in everywhere sideways indoors Adverbs of frequency express how often someone does something or how often an action is performed. They show how often. Example 1. She told you thrice. 2. I have not seen her even once. 3. I go to the temple daily. 4. He seldom go there. 5. This man is always late. Some common adverbs of frequency are always, weekly, fortnightly, annually, again, never, once, twice, usually, seldom, daily, monthly, ever, frequently, often, generally. Comparison of adverbs When compared with adjectives, some adverbs also have their comparative and superlative forms. We generally use them comparing the way things are done. If adverbs end in ly, form the comparative by adding more and the superlative by adding most like 1. The team played skillfully. 2. Sachin played more skillfully than others. 3. Lata sings sweetly. 4. Asha sings even more sweetly. 5. Usha sings most sweetly. If an adverb does not end with ly, we end er and est to form its comparative and superlative form respectively. 1. Milka runs fast. 2. Buddhya runs faster. 3. Usain runs fastest. 4. Raju will reach soon. 5. Dawn will reach sooner. 6. Sanjay will reach soonest. Some of the adverbs form their comparative and superlative degrees irregularly. 1. Rajan writes well. 2. Ricky writes better than Randon. 3. Ashok writes best of all. Practice time. A. Form adverbs from the adjective given in the brackets and fill in the blanks. 1. Is he sitting comfortably? 2. Ram could solve all the sums easily. 3. The tiger roars fiercely. 4. The boys are playing merrily. 5. The girls are waiting in the queue patiently. 6. Rakesh frowned gloomily. B. Fill in the blanks with suitable adverb of manner. 1. They will win the match quickly. 2. She arrived well. 3. The opposition leader is planning to meet the president quickly. 4. I will complete it carefully. 5. She will complete her schooling happily. C. Fill in the blanks with the adverb of place. 1. 
God is everywhere. Two, don't go to the lion's cage. Three, my uncle is writing at the Sunday. Four, my relatives are staying there. It's it's cold here. Five, the lost pen was there to be found. D, fill in the blanks with the adverb of frequency. One, Yogesh is once punctual. He is every day late. Two, have you ever been to Taj Mahal? Three, he frequently tells a lie. Four, Gaurav will be commit the same mistake again. Five, I have been to Delhi only today. E, fill in the blanks with positive, comparative, or superlative forms of adverb. One, Sachin Tendulkar played well. Two, a leopard runs more swiftly than a deer. Three, Tanisha danced most gracefully than a gaur. Four, a bullet cart moves slowly. Five, the bowler throws hard. F. Fill in the blanks with the word adverb from the given options. One, Mr. Johan keeps his collection inside. Two, Amir decided to cross the road wisely. Three, we won the contest. They shouted proudly. Four, Soha works on it every day. Five, we ran out to meet her. One with grammar. Everybody sit, stands in a circle or at their desk. One student is picked to go outside the room while the rest of the group decide on an adverb, such as quickly or sleepily. The volunteer is called back to stand in the center of the circle or at the front of the class. Her task is to guess the adverb by asking an individual or a few members of the group to mind an activity. Teachers note, elucidate that adverbs tell more about verbs. Ask the student to share examples of each of the types of adverbs. Ask the students to share some examples of adverbs.